Hello, this is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you a Akron match, an observed match for first time in a long time, an actual observed match, not just a replay. This is li well live. This is between Nail and Jay Raccoon. Nail is in the top right corner. He has not chosen his race as far as I can tell. Just double check what he is. He is in fact. Oh, I see. He hasn't actually given me the vision of the point. Anyway, sorry. There's. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Let's check what race he actually is. Nail is presently playing as CISO, while J Raccoon has decided to be Grekim. This is on Void Platform, the most recent version of Void Platform, which changes some things from an older version. These crates that used to be over here are now closer to the main base. The main base crates are easier to defend, and the expansions have been modified slightly. Most of the further expansions have been split up. So the center expansions are more valuable. The expansions near them are a bit less valuable in the outer ring, but the outer ring expansions that are further away from the main base are also slightly more valuable. So it's more focused on the single expansions rather than the random lines that were scattered around the map of the old versions. Anyhow, Nail is very quickly scouting out the northwest, the 10 o'clock position. He is, of course, at the 2 o'clock position, while J. Raccoon is at the 6 o'clock position. J. Raccoon is quickly building up his economy, getting Octus up... Actually, getting Octus up to the line in the middle of the map. He's not going for his own main crate, which is rather interesting. And since this is the line next to Nail, it's going to be very easy for Nail to stop him and to make this a big mistake for J. Raccoon. So Nail continuing to scout, actually moving a Marine and a SOP to the two, the 10 o'clock position, getting a Armory and 6 RPs and 7 RPs in his main now. He isn't going heavily for economy as much as I would have expected. Most CISO players will just get tons and tons and tons of resource processors. He isn't going for that. Though he is actually jumping back, I'm not sure if he's changing race. No, he's simply changing his scout position. He's decided or realized that there's nothing at the 10 o'clock position, and so J. Raccoon must be at the 6 o'clock position. This is at the 20 second mark. He's jumped back to this. While J. Raccoon, back in the present, at the 207 mark, has completed his line on the outer, on the inner ring. Well, outer ring, sorry. The inside of the outer ring. Like I said, this is not the best place to put it. Nail will be able to completely capitalize on this position, but J. Raccoon is going to be able to get some resources in the meantime. He really should focus on building up his main base. However, he is not. Well, Nail, on the other hand, does have a scout going up. His scout is definitely there. It will see... Well, it's almost there. Sop is coming along. Oh, he's actually... I think he's moved where it's going. Yeah, no, he hasn't. He, the Sop is going through and will be attacking J. Raccoon's main base. Sorry, it's the timeline discontinuity because he had jumped away. But... It is going to be attacking the main base, and we'll definitely see the RPs when it comes up. So J. Raccoon's in a lot of trouble. This is a very bad place to put his RPs. Oh, no, the SOP is definitely going through. Thinking, wait, the SOP isn't going to take this path down here. No, of course it wouldn't. That's not the direct path. So he will see the expansion, and he's going to start attacking it. So the SOP has seen the expansion. He's going to start harassing it. And Nail, knowing about this, is well, he's building the factory. He's probably not going to act on it too quickly. He does have the SOP here, so we know that it's going to be attacking. It's at the two-minute mark, and... Jumping forward, J. Raccoon at the 427 mark has been building up. Actually, he ended up... This is an Echo, by the way. This Special Ops isn't going to actually be here, so the Octo is attacking an Echo, but... The Arcticus is setting itself up towards the left side of the map, so I don't think J. Raccoon actually knows where Nail is yet. He does now, but he didn't at the time, and he really should be going back, changing up this RPs, really should be shifting them towards the center. He is, however, doing... Looks like he may be doing exactly that. He is... See, going back to the timeline, he is building up an Octo, probably to complete the Triad. And one of his Octos isn't becoming an RP, it is going to attack the Special Ops, it will kill the Special Ops. Almost dying itself, though, it only has 36 health left. But it is alive, we'll be able to build up. Still, building up RPs in that part of the map is a very bad idea, and I'm quite surprised he is doing it. He really should be focusing more on building RPs in his main base, setting that up. This map was slightly redesigned in order to allow for better main base construction before pushing out to get the expansions. So, the way he's expanding right now doesn't really take advantage of this, and it's kind of unfortunate, like I said, because now Nail has an easy way of capitalizing. And Nail looks to be going for an unplayable pass delayed attack. Or at the very least, he's very focused on the unplayable pass, trying to make sure he has something set up. He has a factory built up, getting an ATHC from there when it comes up, but he is hanging out here and not doing... He's doing, obviously, some orders, but he only has a couple orders that he can do. Only one more right now with the Chrono Energy he has. So he's definitely pushing for a delayed attack, but it's hard to tell exactly what he's trying to delay to. There's really not much else he could do. I mean, the ATHC is going to be coming in, and when it attacks, we'll be able to hit it 
hit J Raccoon's base fairly early on. So J Raccoon won't really have a response to this, but J Raccoon, I'm not sure if he really cares, although, like I said, his expansion being over near Nail is a bad idea, and that will be very difficult for him to deal with. Anyway, from J Raccoon's point of view, the Arcticus is coming along, we'll be able to tank the ATHCs, and actually detect the ATHCs as well, Arcticuses can detect, so that will be at least helpful, but not in time, it really, J Raccoon needs to jump back to the near the unplayable past and do this exact same thing. Now jumping back to the 253 mark, about 3 minutes down from there, he is, uh, he's keeping his Arcticus there right now, he hasn't moved it yet, and it's really odd, because really he sh well he should have moved it when he was back here, he's jumped forward again. Trying to figure out what is going on, and it doesn't look like the ATC has actually hit yet. It's coming along, it should be hitting in about 20 seconds, but in the meantime, we do have we do have a Special Ops in J Raccoon's base. Knockbot was starting to deal with it, but it hasn't actually dealt with it yet. I'm going to jump back about a minute and a half, see if anything has actually changed. No, the Octo that was there did not end up becoming part of a Triad, so that Octo didn't die. I'm just surprised it hasn't become part of a Triad. He hasn't built a Reef yet, he hasn't built Spire. I'm not sure exactly which Raccoon is trying to go for the strategy. However, in the present is where he's focused at the 616 mark, and he definitely is building a reef there. He has the Octo set up, he has the whole triad set up. Nail, however, back at the 341 mark, two and a half minutes prior. This is a special ops we saw before, and another Octo is being built up, which will be able to kill off the special ops and should be able to make a triad, so that should be consistent. But there's no Faro, there's no Arcticus, the Arcticus hasn't come here to detect yet, and J Raccoon, I'm guessing, is going to be doing this right now, because he desperately needs to move that Arcticus over to detect. That's his only detector in play right now. Apart from the Faro that's being used for progeneration, which he should not deprogenerate. So there's the four minute mark. The ATHC is here. It's damaging the Octopod. It's going to kill it pretty soon. Probably about 10 hits left, and the Octopod is not going to live long enough if it doesn't retreat for the Arcticus to actually protect it. So the ATHC has now free reign over these RPs. J Raccoon's economy is in a very bad state right now. Like I said, he really shouldn't have been ex expanding towards the outside at all, regardless of where Nail was. He should have been expanding towards the outside, build up the main base first. Nail, on the other hand, should be focusing on him a bit more. He is building up his main base. He did get some expansion in that line and also in the center expansion, but he already knows where J Raccoon is. So for him, it's not a big deal. But for J Raccoon, it's gonna be a problem. Or already has been a problem, actually. And Nail, right now, definitely very healthy on the LC, and not as much on the QP, but isn't really needed. He's going for LC heavy strategy, lots of ATHCs. He's getting a macro fab, though. If he goes for Mar tanks, that will work well for an LC heavy strategy, but I, he hasn't actually started building anything at this point in time. Looks like he's maybe building stuff where he's focused. He is not. No, he is definitely micromanaging his battle here. He is not focused on the attack. And the Asterticus is here, so the ATHCs will be stopped, but not before they destroy two of the RPs. Two of these RPs here have been killed by the ATHCs, so regardless, that is a big blow for J Raccoon. He has 90 LC right when we are now, but he is focused a bit further in the future, about a minute in the future. But he has enough LC to build a couple more RPs, and then from there, at least be able to partially rebuild his economy. Nail is definitely at an advantage, but Nail doesn't seem to have actually capitalized on this advantage yet, though I am, like I said, a bit further behind the players. The ATHC is coming in, and the it looks like the Arcticus cannot actually detect while flying, it can only detect when planted. Which means his ATCs have free reign until the Arcticus actually reaches its destination, which could take a while, and the ATCs are moving fairways away from the Arcticus. I think they might... Uh, yeah, they're out of sight range, so that Arcticus is completely useless. A Faro really needs to be built and come up here. And yes, there it is. The Faro is coming up, but I think it's being used as part of another triad. Imagine that J Raccoon is setting up a secondary triad because the Sepi and Faro, but the Sepi might just be a reef. Sorry, we actually saw this. The Sepi is a reef, the Faro is a spire. Well, a detector, but very, very briefly. I imagine it was meant to be a spire because that's the next step. But unfortunately, the Arcticus is not close enough to detect the ATHC, and now Nail is building up factories right next to J Raccoon and the expansion on J Raccoon's side in the middle of the map. He's also building up RPs on the other side of the map, and. No, he's not building RPs anywhere near J Raccoon other than the base we're seeing already. And he is building Mar tanks, so I was right. He is definitely going for Mar tanks. Gonna have those and we'll be able to easily pound down J Raccoon's base at this point. J Raccoon is focused at this point in time, the 646 mark. He is not in a great spot right now. One of his... Wow. A third of his triad is out. He can still build Seppies, but he can't build Octos or Faros, and Octos and Faros are what he needs in combination. And this, ATH, this Arc is right here. Can't detect anything, but it can build more units, which should help. I'm not sure how much. And Nail is back when he's focused. Actually, hasn't started attacking it. He has his Mar tanks up. He is now pushing out to attack at the nine, nine minute mark. He will be pushing out to attack, and that will be 
quite devastating for J Raccoon. I can't see any way out of this for him. He is building a bunch of Octos. Actually, no, these are echoed out because he can't build without that Seppi. So the ATHCs are just dealing tons and tons of damage. Really, not much J Raccoon could do at this point. He could have, back about 30 seconds ago, deprogen, as a last resort, just deprogen that Faro and Octo. Maybe he might have been able to survive with that and then use the Articus to rebuild. But that's really all he's got. It looks like he's actually used the Articus to build. Yes, he's used the Articus to build up an Octo and a Faro. But the ATHCs are too far gone. They really need to go into the base. The Octo and the Faro need to go into J Raccoon's base and start defending it. But no, that's not going to happen. Nail is. He doesn't even really have to push at this point. He's got a Tornado up. He's got Martanks in his base. Really, he's got a great defense in his base for what's what could be coming. And he's going to be attacking. He is attacking in the 1026 mark. About three minutes up from when we were looking. And this attack is going to be the end of it. Jericho has no way out of this. His tribe is almost completely devastated. Actually, is devastated. It's almost completely destroyed. His Arcticus is going to be destroyed. His Octo here hasn't actually done anything. And Nail is jumping back near the unplayable past. Looks like he is going to be just double checking his attack. I'm not sure what he's doing back here though. Oh, he also has gate tech, so he could easily start chronoporting back units. Just can double check towards the future. He doesn't appear to have a chronoporter anywhere on the map at the 1049 mark, which is where he was looking before, but he could easily get one or a teleporter or anything really. Back at the 852 mark, three minutes down, he is going to be just finishing off J Raccoon. So I imagine this is not going to be a particularly exciting or long game, but it's Certainly an educational game as to why you don't expand before you have your main base secured. And Nail really has, like I said, the 930 mark is when he's building up a ton of tanks as well. Got Martanks, tanks, the whole the whole set. Tornot's coming in as well from his secondary base near J Raccoon. There's really no way around this. So J Raccoon has GG'd. That is the game, folks. That is the game. So J Raccoon will be surrendering fairly soon, and I'm sure we'll be seeing another game shortly, because J Raccoon will likely want to have a rematch after this. And Tornado's also scouting out. Looks like Nail isn't quite certain that J Raccoon is actually dead. Just checking out the bases that are on the far side of the map from Nail. But nope, there's nothing there. Just for reference, there is nothing there. J Raccoon has nothing. He had that one try, he didn't really build up much with it. He does have actually. Sorry, no, not quite. He has another triad right next to the Articus, but that will die. This is the 1026 Martank attack, which is going to kill off this triad, no problem. So yeah, J Raccoon really doesn't have any hope right now. He already has surrendered. He has GG'd, so there's no point even talking about that. The game is over. It's just J Raccoon hasn't hit the surrender button yet. Just taking in the actual loss, but yeah, it's, it's done. So anyway, I... I guess this slow time of the game, I just want to take the opportunity to thank all my subscribers for subscribing, all 200 some out of you. It's over 200 now, which is really quite nice for this game, which hasn't been as popular as it deserves to be. Well, depending on your opinion, maybe it is as popular as it deserves to be, but clearly if you subscribe to this, you at least have some interest in the game. So, thank you for subscribing, I appreciate this, and hope to bring in more videos soon. Obviously, if that's what I do, bring in more videos. And, like I said, Temporal Anomalies will be resuming soon. And that should be great. So, that's, like I said, I think there's going to be a rematch after this. Would not surprise me if there is. And then from there, we should see a much better game. And that's, but that's the game so far. So, yeah. Nail is won. Nail has defeated J Raccoon from J Raccoon's point of view. And that's it. So I'm just going to end this right now. And have a good night.